Hello, today for review I've got a recent addition to KB Ear lineup, affordable hybrid in-ear monitors KS2. It's a dual driver hybrid with dynamic driver and single balanced armature. Price is $23, so really affordable model, uh, nothing super fancy, but actually to add uh, some intrigue to their launch. Uh, uh, appeared information that the, their tuning and frequency response is similar to some high-end Sony hybrids. I didn't test any of Sony hybrid near monitors, so I'm not sure how close they are. I really doubt that they are close, but anyway, KB Ear is a really consistent company, so we definitely can expect that uh, this model offers uh, really good sound for this uh, $23. Is it true? Let's find out. Package is pretty simple, so just a card plain cardboard box, two versions, uh, green and uh, black one with microphone and without on the back side there are technical specifications so uh, 16 ohms of impedance 106 decibels of sensitivity so pretty good figures of course 32 ohms of impedance would be better but uh, they are not super sensitive so there won't be issues with background noise inside everything is pretty traditional we've seen that uh, before many times by many companies so earphones themselves and set of accessories so even without opening it you can easily guess that you will have cable and additional set of tips and that's true so as you can see three pair of additional black silicones and really long bag with stock cable. Let's unwrap it. In terms of design, it's pretty simple but uh, looks nice. Good tint of green color, traditional ergonomic shape, made totally of plastic but made in a, an accurate way so everything is rounded so there won't be issues with fit and with comfort at, le at least uh, for average and big ears and as you can see spouts are actually longer than traditional and that means that sound isolation is also a bit above average there are two pressure relief holes here and there so won't be much driver flex there is a lip for holding the tips, protective grill, so in terms of fit, in terms of comfort, comfort and isolation, they are classical model in this aspect. Cables are made replaceable and uh, good that KB Ear didn't use here MMCX connectors because in affordable models two pins are really good idea. It's some another type, uh, some other type of two pin connector with recessed pins, but uh, just slightly recessed. Nice fit, uh, good connectors. Uh, probably they will serve for some time. And cable reminds KZ1, maybe a bit uh, thinner and softer, but there is ear hooks to hold the cable around your ear and to reduce microphonic cable is really soft so it's not something truly audiophiliac just regular braided cable splitter and after splitter it goes to the angle jack so just regular stock cable as you can see in terms of design package accessory set it's just uh, affordable in-ear monitors, so nothing super fancy, but no attempts to save some additional sense. So you will have normal design, not super, but normal, and set of tips, cables, so everything that you will need for in-ear monitor. And of course about the sound, so 
you can see the internals of this uh, in-air monitor through the semi-transparent shell. You can see the dynamic driver and balanced armature most probably is located inside of spout. And uh, as uh, probably you can expect from such uh, driver configuration and from the price range, it's a fun V-shaped uh, hybrid in-air monitors with accented low frequencies and uh, boosted treble. Uh, I gave them about 48 hours of burn-in, but it uh, uh, doesn't change sound much, so the only thing you need to do to enjoy the sound at full, just to find the proper tips and uh, luckily stock tips are really okay. I like that they are not super soft, so they provide good isolation and most probably one of the stock tips pairs will fit your ears nicely. And uh, Let's uh, speak about their sound step by step. Bass is accented, a bit boosted. Uh, actually, accent is slightly above average, but not maximum. So they are pretty bassy, but not too much. And uh, here used some nice dynamic driver. Of course, it's not uh, armature like fast, and it's also neither it's uh, uh, fast as dynamic drivers. It's just average resolution. But for twenty three dollars, it's a really okay performance. It has a good depth, not the maximum, but uh, probably you won't suffer lacking of depth. Well, most of all, these in ear monitors, of course, are tuned for the uh, electronic music, for pop music, for genres where boosted bass makes a, a plus. But actually, thanks to the normally tuned low frequencies, they are not mighty, they are not uh, slow. It's uh, pretty okay with uh, some audiophilia records, for example, some acoustic bass and so on. So acoustic instruments are a bit exaggerated in terms of size because of the boosted bass, but uh, still sounding pretty enjoyable. So enjoyable it's actually the main word describing their sound representation and uh, tuning. And as an example for the low frequencies, I've selected uh, Juno Reactor Showtime and that's the genre that suits such in-ear monitors most of all because boosted bass give you nice enjoyable really engaging pipe uh, bass line and at the same time they are not super bass boosted so don't expect skull rattling sound but uh, bass is pretty present pretty weighty with uh, good amounts of weight and uh, Boosted upper mids and treble gives a nice contrast, contrast to the bass line, uh, giving nice representation of the three-dimensional effects and other part, parts of the, this uh, tune, so giving uh, overall balanced representation. Mids are recessed or not boosted compared with low frequencies, so it's just a matter of reference point how to name that. So uh, male vocals are lacking a bit of presence and lower part of mids, but still thanks to the balanced armature used here, resolution is pretty normal, they sounding uh, pretty realistic. They are lacking a bit of aggression uh, probably sometimes, but at the same time they are not sounding too sharp, so pretty balanced representation on mids, they are not uh, trying to go into the micro detailization, they are not uh, trying uh, to sound super monitoring or super detailed, so uh, they, because of that uh, they are pretty forgiving for the quality of records, so if your media library doesn't consist of only audiophilic tracks, uh, it's a good plus. Anyway, female vocals and the vast majority of instruments are good, uh, not superb in terms of realism, of course, but uh, still we should remember about the price range. And for that, pr that price range it's a really good offer, so with good resolution and clarity. You know, we are, we've entered the era when uh, normal Chinese manufacturers produce uh, good in-ear monitors. Maybe even even affordable models may be not something stellar, but at the same time they are really listenable and enjoyable without big issues. 
And uh, I don't know why, actually, maybe because of tuning, maybe because of some other things, but their imaginary stage is uh, above average both in width and in depth, and it is one of the most special sounding in air monitors in the affordable segment. Please keep in mind that it's still affordable in air monitors, so don't expect something big, something at, uh, like hugely out of your head. But uh, in terms of staging and three-dimensional positioning, the AM monitor sounding pretty engaging, uh, especially with something properly recorded. And as an example for the mid frequencies, I got not something properly recorded. It's uh, metallic as master of puppets. It's a good illustration of their sound because uh, they sounding pretty enjoyable, but at the same time, because of uh, recessed uh, lower mids, uh, bass guitar is a bit uh, moved behind all other instruments in the mix. And at the same time, percussion sounding not too sharp, but we'll talk about uh, treble a bit later. And thanks to the boosted low frequencies, drums sounding uh, pretty good and guitars have normal resolution. Not superb, but pretty normal. Uh, this uh, slower part with slow uh, solo sounding pretty enjoyable. And treble, treble is accented, so if you sensitive for the high frequencies, keep that in mind, but uh, for me they are not sharp and not even coming close to that limit, so it's a boosted treble, but not too much. Treble extension is only average, uh, but sometimes it's even a good thing, because uh, with poor records, uh, not super extended treble is a good idea. And uh, it's a balanced armature, single balanced armature, so it's a bit dry, bit uh, lightweight and lean armature treble, but with good resolution and sounding pretty clean. And because of that boost, uh, they giving a bit of additional clarity and actually treble here balancing low frequencies, giving uh, overall uh, uh, balanced signature. And uh, you know, it's actually the case when you can here's a difference between the some no-name balanced armature and something from Knowles or Sonion because uh, Sonion and Knowles anyway sounding more natural but of course for Sonion and Knowles you'll have to pay like 30 at least 30 dollars more or even higher price and Actually, here is an example, it's uh, Kent Poon, audiophile jazz prologue, third part, and uh, you know, this in air monitor sounding surprisingly well with uh, properly recorded uh, tracks, even such complicated as uh, fortepiano. And uh, here we have properly recorded fortepiano, and fortepiano is timber rich with a lot of overtones. Of course, it's not uh, superb with that, but still they are at least present, and thanks to the good staging, this track sounding pretty enjoyable. Of course, uh, comparing with some uh, at least $100 or $150 in air monitors, difference is really noticeable, but for, the, for this price range it's a really good result. In terms of pairing, they are not uh, super critical, you can use them with your smartphone, with some Bluetooth adapter or with some entry-level DAP, and it's a matter of uh, what you'd like to achieve. To summarize once again about the sound, it's fun, V-shaped signature with good stage, bit recessed mids, nice uh, boosted accented bass, and slightly accented treble, but uh, pretty clean and crisp sounding. Not the resolution monster, not something going into the micro detailization and so on. And I think it uh, gives pretty nice organic representation. Speaking about the comparison, there are tons of models in this price range, so, but for example TRN V90, they are more focused on the resolution, they have less uh, base, and this one is more V-shaped, so it's a matter of preferences. You know, actually in sub $50 range, th there is no better models or worst models, it's all a matter of your preference. So if you like, for example, warm and bassy sound, get something from Blonde. BL03 or 05. If you like something natural, monitoring and focused on the maximum resolution, a bit more aggressive, it's TRN V90. 
if you need uh, just natural monitoring representation it's me audio m6 pro 2 and so on and so forth and this model it's a fun v-shaped signature reminding a bit kzzsn pro but the dsn pro sounding uh, a bit leaner and uh, this one and a bit sharper on treble this one is a bit more organic in terms of tuning and uh, another rival for example it's jade audio ea3 have similar tuning you know pretty similar but that's the case when i talk about the difference in balanced armatures uh, jade audio is a bit more natural on treble thanks to the Knowles balanced armatures well there are tons of other models i won't try to recall them all just feel free to ask but i think i highlighted the difference of this model from others so if you're looking for some organic sounding in ear monitors without too focus on the micro contrast a bit forgiving but with fun accent at low frequencies and a bit of treble accent uh, kb ears released a pretty good uh, model with a really nice uh, price quality ratio Actually, you know, I recently received also KB ear, ear 04. Also, they, it took about 100 days to uh, to reach me. So, in one of the next reviews will be dedicated to them. But still, I'm a fan of KB ear. They are really consistent in tuning and they are releasing really interesting models. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.